Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be discussing to you the if else statements in Java. So I'll cover the topics if else statement flowchart, if else statement syntax, if else statement scope, and how if else, if else statements work. So we have here the flowchart and uh, we all know that it always starts with a condition and it could either be evaluated true or false. So say for example we have a condition that is evaluated false so the codes inside the else block are executed and the execution of code will continue outside the else block after that and say for example it is evaluated true the codes at the if block are to be executed and then the execution of code will proceed also outside the if else block so we have here the syntax so you if you'll notice the if and else keyword is written using lowercase the condition is inside and open and close parenthesis and we have here the blocks of code or lines of code if the condition is evaluated true and the blocks of, of code for your else block if the condition is evaluated false so that basically is the syntax for the if else statement and how do we determine the scope so we have two methods actually so the first one is by using the curly braces I would prefer this method so you could easily determine the scope for the if and for the else block and outside that is are the codes outside the else, if else block okay so the other method is without using the curly braces so if you use this method it is assumed that there is only one statement for the if and else block and the rest of the codes are outside the if else block okay but uh, again I repeat it is a good or a better practice if you uh, immediately put the open and close curly braces so that if just in case while you are doing your program and suddenly you need to add extra lines of code inside the if and else block the open and close uh, curly braces are already in place and you would avoid uh, encountering unnecessary or unexpected behavior when you run your program so how does if else statement work so first you will try or simulate if the condition is evaluated true say for example you have here an integer variable named value and it, it is equal to 10 and we have a condition if value is greater than 5 so what will happen if this statement is true so actually it will be evaluated true because uh, the current value of or the current or the assigned value for the value variable is equal to 10 so the condition inside the if block will be executed so no matter how many lines of codes are there it will be evaluated from the first line to the last line of code inside the if block and the execution after that will proceed outside the if else block so let us now simulate if the condition is evaluated false so say for example the uh, value variable now is equal to 1 and the condition is if value is greater than 5 so basically it will be evaluated false so what will happen so the blocks of code inside the if block will be skipped and the execution will proceed inside the else block and again the execution of code will continue outside the if else block so basically that's how if else statement works so it's actually easy and easy to understand and I would like to remind you again to always use the curly braces uh, I think it is safer for you to include those uh, at the beginning or uh, before you write uh, codes inside the if and else block so 
that's it thank you for watching if you missed my video for the if statement tutorial please uh, check the previous video and next I'll be uploading the if else if and else statement so see you around and if you like this tutorial please hit like subscribe and hit the bell button below thank you for watching and have a great day Thank you.